Some of the most attractive things to those with curious and inquisitive minds are abandoned structures. Who walked in the hall of an abandoned building? Why did everyone suddenly disappear from a ghost town? But there is one type of abandoned structure that is not only incredibly rare, they're almost legends. Ghost ships. There have always been tales of massive, abandoned ships floating freely throughout the world's oceans, steered only by the tide. Are these things for real? Find out for yourself. From the SS Bakemo to the MV Alta, here are five massive ghost ships left abandoned. Cruises have always been a popular thing to do for those looking for a nice, relaxing, and all-inclusive vacation option. One popular cruise ship built in 1972 was the Spirit of London. It operated for a number of years and was even featured in a number of movies and television shows such as Columbo and Starsky and Hutch. But in 2012, after a number of legal disputes, ownership changes, and even an onboard fire, the ship was purchased by a Chinese company and named the Ocean Dream. During its time with the name Ocean Dream, it sailed under a number of countries' flags, eventually sailing under a Panamanian flag in 2014. It was during this time that the ship capsized and partially sank just off the coast of Thailand in February of 2016. It took months to clean up the oil spill that resulted. However, the investigation that happened afterward revealed something totally unexpected. When investigators found the ship, what they discovered was that the crew had abandoned ship over a year prior, and the ship itself was floating aimlessly ever since. As it turns out, there were a ton of disputes between the shipping company and the ship's crew over everything from working conditions to hours and wages. Eventually, after every negotiation had failed and nothing changed, everyone on board simply decided to leave. Surely there must be more to the story, but that's about all we could find online. In 2017, demolition began, and by 2019, much of the shipwreck was no longer above water. In Japan, fishing is one of the biggest industries. The vast majority of the population have seafood as the major part of their diets. But there is another thing that Japan is known for, earthquakes. It is a very geologically active area that is not only prone to earthquakes, but tsunamis. And tsunamis can wreak havoc on a country that relies so heavily on the ocean for food and resources. In March of 2011, a powerful undersea megathrust earthquake struck about 45 miles off the coast of the Oshika Peninsula of the Tohoku region. Its power triggered a massive tsunami that damaged miles of Japanese shoreline. One lesser-known tale from this disaster is that of the Rio Unmaru, a fishing boat. The fishing boat was struck by the tsunami, but survived. However, it broke free from its mooring lines and was washed away into the ocean. Without a captain to guide it, and with nearly all of Japan's first response resources tied up on the mainland, the Rio Unmaru was left to drift in the ocean. Because of the slow response time, the ship was lost at sea. Teams went in search of the aimless vessel, but nothing was ever found. However, a year later, it was spotted by the Royal Canadian Air Force about 170 miles off the coast of British Columbia. It ended up drifting into US waters a few weeks later. Salvage attempts failed, so the decision was made to sink the mammoth fishing ship. On April 5th, 2012, over a year after it drifted away from Japan, the United States Coast Guard sank the ghost vessel to prevent it from becoming a hazard to navigation. Next on our list, we have the MV Liubov Orlova, an incredibly powerful cruise liner. Reinforced for cutting through thick ice, it was especially popular for passengers who wanted to take tours of the waters around Antarctica. But it was most known for being able to sail around the world. Built in 1976, it ran hundreds of successful cruises over the years. However, in 2006, it reportedly ran aground during one of its voyages and had to be towed back to port. Four years later, in 2010, the ship was repossessed in Newfoundland, Canada due to unpaid debts. For two years, it sat on the Canadian dock, rotting away. Finally, it was bought for its parts by a company in the Dominican Republic. 
As it was being towed away from Canada, the ship and the tugboats ran into some very rough water and the tow lines snapped. Attempts were made to get it back, but it was no use. The MV Leobov Orlova drifted away. There is one part of this story that is incredibly disturbing. Before being towed away, the ship had to be secured. Crews discovered that the ship was infested with rats who, without proper sources of food, had turned to cannibalism. Now, this cannibal rat-infested ship has been floating freely for years. Reported sightings span from Scotland to Washington State. But, as it has been many years since the last sighting, many believe that the ocean has claimed it and the ship lies thousands of feet below the surface. The vast majority of the world's goods are transported overseas via merchant vessels like tankers and cargo ships. It is a regular occurrence for a ship to be bought and sold many times over the years. Such was the case with the MV Alta, which was built in 1976 and had been bought and sold six times, undergoing a name change each time until it ended up with its last name. Although it was an older ship, it received many upgrades over the years, including the addition of the automatic identification system. This story begins in October of 2018, when the ship was on a voyage from Greece to Haiti. Although the ship was fairly large, it was not the type of ship that would usually make a trip of this distance. Typically, this type of ship would stay close to shorelines, while in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the ship's engines failed, leaving the crew stranded. The US Coast Guard rescued the crew about 1,400 miles off the coast of Bermuda, leaving the ship completely abandoned. After the crew left the ship, it is unknown how the ship drifted. Prior to leaving, someone had deactivated the ship's automatic identification system, which could have been used to locate the drifting vessel. In 2019, it was spotted just off the coast of Bermuda, meaning it was floating at a very slow pace. Finally, in 2020, the Alta reappeared off the Irish coast where it ran aground. There were many questions as to where ownership of the vessel lied and who would pay the bill to remove it. The scrap value of this old ship was very low and the cost to remove the wreckage would exceed $10 million. As of early 2021, the wreckage is still there. Ghost ships aren't only unique to vessels built in the mid and late 1900s. Much earlier than that, there were reports of ghost ships. In the early 1900s, a Swedish vessel named the SS Bekimo was operating along the coast of Canada, trading provisions for pelts in various Inuit settlements along the Victoria Island coast. In 1931, the crew had finished a run and the Bekimo became trapped in the pack ice. The crew briefly abandoned ship and traveled over a half mile walking across the frozen ocean to the town of Barrow where they would take shelter. Many of the crew were rescued and flown out by the company, but some stayed to try and salvage what they could from the wreckage. There was just one problem. When they returned, the ship was gone. They were able to locate it a short time later and retrieve some items from it, but the ship broke free yet again. Over the next several decades, there were numerous sightings of the old ship. Many people have even tried to board it, but they found themselves unable to salvage it. The last recorded sighting was in 1969, stuck in the pack ice in the Beaufort Sea just off the northeastern Alaskan coast. Today, it is presumed sunk. The discovery of a ghost ship often is a big thing and usually garners a lot of attention from the public. In 2018, just off the coast of Myanmar in the Indian Ocean, a mysterious cargo ship was found floating with tow cables still dangling from the front of the ship. This ghost ship, which was discovered by fishermen, was identified as the Sam Ratulangi PB-1600. It was built in 2001, and the last time it was seen was in 2009. This was no small ship to drift around. The Sam Ratulangi PB-1600 was a massive cargo ship that measured over 500 feet long. When it was found, it was in rough but working order. However, there were absolutely no traces of the crew on board. After some investigation, the crew of the tugboat that was towing the ship was located. They reported that the tugboat had been towing the ship for a few days towards Bangladesh, where it was scheduled to be scrapped. 
However, they abandoned ship after the cables snapped and were rescued a little later on. Today, the investigation remains open as to what actually happened. These ships are only a small portion of the world's ships that have been abandoned and left to the mercy of the sea. Many more are either wrecked on some shore, swallowed by the ocean, or remain afloat, drifting with the tides and currents. To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and tune in next time.